guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 17 of season 4 of My Hero Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, you. Go play, puppy. Oh. Cody! A hula hoop. Hoop. I mean, it's really for. Honestly, no, it's the whole episode overall because this. <laughs> I mean, oof. It just. That's all I can say is a big oof. <laughs> I cannot wait to see him <laughs> do that one trip and, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, why am I so loud about this kid? <laughs> Could be the jeans, that's why. <laughs> so one day they might even kill themselves in the vision. <clears throat> It's gonna be fine. Babysitter's Club, they got this. They got to fine. Stop. 
Kid, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, damn, we gotta grab him like that? Exactly. Yeah, just don't make them turn out to be little fits again. <laughs>
sworn there's going to be a day, one day, which other will be all accepted. It's just not going to be. Oh my god, his smile. I can't. Even though I have a loving relationship with him. Oh my god. No. God, I can't wait to think of that chapter, but I can't think of it. Oh god. I hate math. Try it though.
know. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. I, I'm right because I'm like, I'm like, no, you to know, you're sleeping to so. I was trying to talk to you.
weird though but I love him he's such an interesting and vivid character I just hope that like since I haven't read the manga in a while since I've been so fucking busy I, I just hope that later on in the series wherever we go he gets a little more development he's so different from everybody else but like not in a bad way more of in a good way because everybody's different in their own unique way and that's why I love this show so damn much but like oh my god just <laughs> I have to say one thing. Just the point when he was like <laughs> looking inside and staring at him. Honestly, it didn't feel like eerie scary enough to me. It looked more scary <laughs> than manga. Because I'm not like because of the fact is it's dark and everything, but because of the fact is the way it's animated it looks a little different from it. So that's why I was like, Yeah, I don't really feel anything towards that moment. I, I just felt like it was scary funny in a way, but more funny than scary. I mean, that's just me, because as, as a person who just loves horror things, and I laugh at horror movies in general, and people still can't get that about me, because they're always wondering why the hell I'm laughing at horror movies. It's, just, it's a long, long story that I really don't want to get into, but I'm glad they were able to talk it out. Like, no, I'm fine. It just gave me more development on him. He's like, he's a... Aoyama's like a hella underrated character and he deserves screen time. I'm not ready for this. Like I am, but at the same time, I'm not. Like, oh my god, freaking! Finally, I have been waiting for this. Like this whole season, it's just uh, everything. Yes, but okay. Going back to the babysitters club. Yes, it was so good. <laughs> we all knew they were gonna be fine. Just oh my god, just, I can't. <laughs> this is such a good episode. I just love the fact is, I think the kid the main kid of the of the group like the more i heard him talk i think that was how easy i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna look it up after i'm done watching this or after like i watch fake grand order babylon but like dead ass that's something like how you give me but it was so freaking good like oh my god i kind of want to work with kids now <laughs> but yeah i mean I, don't, I just don't know what else to say about it. But yes, I mean, with the fact is of their quirks, and usually there's going to be a generation. It could be maybe a generation that of kids that graduate in 20, 2030. Let's just say that. I'm going to give a guess. 2030. And their quirks are out of whack, and they can't control it. I feel like there's going to be a point in time where we're going to see that in the manga. I'm not 100% sure if they're going to do it. I would like to see it because how are you going to handle a kid who can't control their quirk that much? I mean, we've seen it a little bit in the show, but not as much. But, like, how deadly could that be? I mean, I can imagine, you know, not only the, the person dying, but anyone who comes in contact with he or she they also die as well, but who knows. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 17 of season 4 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 18. Bye, guys. <laughs>